If you're thinking about using Webflow as your website builder, you need to watch this entire video. I'm going to expose some things that are going to come up later on down the road for you. Hey, how are you guys? Harrison Barron from HarrisonBarron.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys why you need to watch out when you're using Webflow. Now, I love Webflow. Let me get that out right away before somebody's like, you're bashing Webflow. No, no, no. My company's website is on Webflow. My personal website is on Webflow. And we have several customers on our Webflow account. And we have various other Webflow accounts that we are also using where we're helping other people out as well. So I am quite versed in Webflow. However, you need to watch this because this has recently come to attention and it's not something that I was aware of beforehand and it is driving me insane. It makes me slightly upset and I want to share with you guys why you need to be careful with this. Now, as long as I share this with you, what you choose to do afterwards is totally up to you. Now, I'm not saying don't use Webflow. Once again, I love Webflow. It is phenomenal with what it does. However, you just need to watch this video because I'm going to expose some things that aren't readily known in Webflow. So let's jump into my computer here. And this, most of this entire video is going to be about pricing. And now pricing is great in Webflow, but there are some areas that you need to be aware of when you start to grow your business. We'll call it online. Now I'm, not, I'm saying using business as a loose term. However, there's start when you start to build a company or even just build more websites, you start to need additional help. Those people are going to be maybe a copywriter, maybe an editor, maybe a builder, maybe a designer, and they all need access to your website. That way you can actually have a successful and profitable website, right? That's really what it comes down to. I keep using or thinking about the word business and website interchangeably because they kind of are. If you're building out a website, it's probably going to turn into a business at some point or another, whether or not you actually want it to. So we're going to jump into my computer here and I'm going to share with you guys my Webflow account and ultimately what I've started to see. Also, shout out to my dog Hunter who's hanging out with me today. But this is my Webflow account. So in here we have currently eight projects. We have my personal website. We have uh, one of my buddy's websites. We have my agency website and then we have a couple other Webflow accounts that we're helping other people out on and we're still in the process of building out some other websites. But here's what I didn't know when I first started. So I'm going to just use my website as an example, because this is kind of what really made me a little upset. So in here you have your hosting plans. Now the hosting plans that they offer, in my opinion, are phenomenal. I think they're extremely well priced for what you actually get. Now you have your custom domains, your SSL included, your CDN, your 50 gigabytes of bandwidth per month, 200 gigabytes. I don't understand why they even put a limit on how many gigabytes of bandwidth you have. I just, every other builder, it's kind of unlimited, or at least they don't advertise it. That's one of the gripes that I have with this. You get a hundred static pages, you get a uh, hundred thousand monthly visitors with your $20 per month. Now I'm going with the $20 per month because chances are pretty good. You are going to have a blog and that blog is going to fill up moderately quickly if you are actively trying to get traffic to your website now in here you don't get any cms items in here you do get cms items a content management system so you get two thousand articles essentially for twenty dollars per month a thousand form submissions cms api access site search three content editors right like these are all great things and now a content editor is give a client um, a content editor or make them basically access the, the website here. No form file upload, email support, free university training, which is kind of nice. Their university training videos are phenomenal. Standard terms of service, basic DOS attack, which is a denial of service attack. It's usually DDOS. They're the only people that have actually seen it uh, as a DOS attack. And then credit card billing, which is always nice. Now you have my website here where it's been live now, and this is the cool part about it, right? I think that the pricing on here is phenomenal, but this is where it really starts to irk me and really kind of makes me upset. Now, this is a great plan. And I think that every website, as far as pricing, should be varied right around this. And they usually are with Wix, Squarespace, with a lot of these builders. And then the e-commerce side is always a bit more expensive. Their e-commerce platform definitely needs a little bit of work, but here's where I started to get a little upset. You have your account plans. So this is specifically for that website hosting. When you have your account plan, this is on your account and this is where it gets a little confusing. So you have your 
starter, right? You have your projects, client billing, free staging, no code export, no white labeling, no site password protection, right? And then you have your $16 a month, save 33% annually. This gives you 10 projects, client billing, enhanced staging, code export, no white labeling, right? This you have to pay for your entire account to essentially upgrade it, right? Now, we are a Wix partner. We have about 75 to uh, we have probably around 75 websites in our account actively. We don't pay a dollar extra for that. This bothers me more than I can ever imagine, but I'm okay with paying for a little more. Although I think 16 projects is kind of a little bit, but I do understand that they are the only people that allow for a code export. So if you want to build something in Webflow and use it in a different platform, such as Shopify, you can do that. And that is a phenomenal tool. But it just why only 10 for $16, right? You would want more projects because essentially more projects means you're going to be, you're going to have more websites. Now I'm not mad at the unlimited, which is $35. Let me move this up a little bit here. Client billing, right? Enhanced staging, code export, white labeling. This is all good. However, I don't understand why I need to pay money to have more projects in your platform when I'm probably going to be building websites around them and firing them up on your platform, right? That's what I don't understand. Now we're going to go one step further and this is probably, I'm, I'm kind of okay with this because I think the pricing is pretty reasonable in this. This next part is where it absolutely drives me nuts. Now this I understand is not going to be applicable to most people using Webflow and that's okay. But if you do start to do websites for people and you want to grow your business, we'll call it, or just even if it's not a business, but people are going to ask you because they like your website. Hey, help me out. I, I, I want you to build my website. I really like what you guys have. That's great. But this next part, really just drives it home to make me angry, which is your teams. So now you've already paid the 16 or $20 a month for your CMS, right? That's currently what I'm paying for on my website. I have 245, 43 blogs on my personal website, but this is where it goes crazy, right? Then you're paying an extra $16, right? At my agency to have 10 projects in there, right? So now you're talking about $20. If you have 10 projects in there, that's $200 a month plus another $16 a month, right? Which just bothers me for whatever reason. But this is where it really, really bothers me. If you want to have other people in your team work on other websites in your account, this is what drives me insane. And I think that this part is probably the most, I just don't love it. That's it. That's all I got to say is I just don't love it. I have to pay $70 a month to have my team members, one other person, right? Two users, unless it's two additional users. So there would be three of us, but even still, that's crazy to me. That blows my mind that you have to pay $70 to have one or two other people, right? I don't quite understand the users. Like, is that additional users or is that users altogether? You being one of them go into your account and actually work on the website. That makes no sense to me. Wouldn't you want a whole team of people in there working on websites so projects get done faster, so they pay for hosting, so you get more money every single month? This just does not make sense to me. You are charging $2, $4, or $2, two users, four users, and eight users, 70, 140, and 280. There's not even a discount as you get more users, right? I mean, that, bothers me in a way that just hurts. And I don't love that Webflow does this and I would love to see them change their pricing. I'm not against them making money, but either charge a little more in your hosting area or charge a little more in your plans. I just think that it's crazy to me that you have to pay for users. Now, granted, most companies are gonna have two people or four people working on additional websites. Now, bigger companies are obviously gonna have eight people, right? You might have a copywriter, you're probably gonna have potentially a second copywriter. You're probably gonna have one or two designers, right? So that's four people. You're probably gonna have uh, one or two developers, maybe three developers, and that's your whole team plus the owner, that's eight people, right? 
it just blows my mind that they want almost $300. That's annual billing, by the, by the way. Your monthly billing is $336 if you pay monthly. That is an absurd amount of money when all of the money is really in your CMS and your business areas or your basics. Charge a little more money for that. This is crazy to me that you have to pay extra. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, well, Harrison, you're overreacting. Why would you ever want to do this? That's kind of silly. That's how they make all their money. No, there is no possible way that they are making that much money on this. They would make far more money charging a little bit more money for hosting. I feel like this was like, hey, let's see how much money we could really get out of them. And they went with this route because Squarespace, GoDaddy, WordPress, Webflow, I mean, not Webflow, uh, Wix, none of them charge for additional team members. This is the only one that I've ever seen that charges for additional people to work in on your stuff. And it makes me so upset because why would they do that? I get the I get the plans. I get it. I, I get this part of it. That makes sense to me, right? Or charge a little more money in here. But the team members just doesn't. I can have unlimited team members in pretty much every account, or I can have multiple people working in one account. I mean, that's fine. But on Webflow, if you go in here, you sign in and somebody else signs in and you go to a different page on a website that you're working on, it kicks you out. Oh, why? Why would they do this? This, I'm, this is not supposed to be a complaint video, but I love everything about Webflow. And that's why I'm upset because it's just so ridiculous that they want you to pay extra money for literally what everybody else gives away for free. And that's why I needed to make this video about it. It's not because I'm like salty about it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Every other company and their their product is phenomenal. Their everything about it is phenomenal other than their e-commerce or e-commerce lacks. Their trainings are great. The company is just amazing overall. But this, the team's area really just I don't think that it's necessary to charge for it, or it should be way less. It should be like half or a third the price that it currently is. I don't know what the resources it takes on their back end that they would charge so much money, but or just increase hosting a little bit. Hey, there's two extra dollars, right? Or or, or four extra or five dollars per month, right? I'd rather pay that way and pay, you know, based on how many websites I have, than hey, if I want two people to be able to work in a website, I need to pay almost a hundred dollars a month. That is crazy to me. And is this is the only platform that requires that does this. Every other platform I found does not charge for this. So there may be ones that I didn't find that I don't commonly use. I know that there's a million website builders out there currently, but I hope you guys can feel the same way. I hope Webflow actually sees this. I normally would never make a video like this because I love Webflow. My my personal, I just brought my personal website. I just brought my business account. I just brought clients over here. But why do I have to pay so much extra money? I'd rather just have multiple Webflow accounts, which we're, we're, is exactly what we're doing, right? We have our playground and then we have their own accounts and then they can pay all their own bills, right? And then we just jump in there. And now that we don't have to worry about paying for teams, but it just makes it irritating and silly and clunky. That's it. That's really all I could say about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys are using about using Webflow, what are your thoughts? I need to know what you guys are thinking. How do you guys get around this? If you guys are doing something about that, leave a comment down below. I want to know because this is just crazy to me. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like, subscribe, share, notify, send this to Webflow. Maybe they'll send me an answer back. Tag them down below. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some answers. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.